Welcome to this episode of OpenSCAD by DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to take a look at building this assembly. Now, this assembly happens to be for a drone project I'm working on. As of lately, I've gotten into building drones and, again, having access to 3D printers and CNC machines make this actually a, a very easy and enjoyable pursuit. So, something I'd highly recommend. However, the piece here is one of the things that I found is I had some extra SEMA X8 motors uh, or motor assemblies laying around. Now, I'll put, a, I'll put a, a picture up in the corner, and one of the things that these assemblies are designed to do is fit into a uh, plastic injected molded housing, and that's what provides support. But these are very um, powerful yet economical engines. And I thought, well, what if I could use it for some of my other drone applications? And so what I did is I designed up this housing to provide that same support that the injected molded housing provides. So I could reutilize these in other standard configurations because the bottom holes fit uh, typically what I refer to as standard brushless mounts. So I can bolt this onto just about any assembly I want to now, which is really cool. Now, how did I go about it? Well, one of the things you see the highlighted piece here and, and what I did is I took and I modeled this uh, shaft assembly, shaft and gear assembly, and then I used it to difference it out. Let's take a little bit of deeper look. So I'm going to highlight so we just take a look at this. And so you can see the assembly. So this piece up here is the housing assembly. This is the motor. And these uh, all are the pin assemblies um, which support the motor in the housing. And so what we do is we simply take and we do a difference of these, and you can see it's in the difference component of my uh, module up here. And then what happens is I just take a circle and then I knock out the difference, and this forms a housing for the uh, gear assembly. And this is really cool, and actually this has worked out very good. And the reason I share this is, again, maybe you have a situation like this where you have a off-the-shelf component and you want to reuse it for another application, but the housing or whatever support mechanism uh, which houses it is, is in another product altogether and, and you can't reuse it. So creating this new housing uh, you know, provides new use and application for that, which I which I thought was pretty cool. The other piece here that I did is, you notice I tapered this in order to save weight because again, this is going on an airframe. Um, I need I wanted to save weight. I guess I didn't need to say I need to save weight, but I really wanted to save weight, so I tapered this down. So when I made the opening in this cylinder. Uh, I did a taper on it, obviously made the bottom larger than the top, and so uh, it comes out pretty good. And again, you know, prints with no, um, no supports as far as that piece goes. Now, I do use supports for these openings because, again, I did leave the openings, and I just use a cube to knock out uh, the four openings across here. And the idea is so I can get my fingers in there to put the screws and tighten the screws as well as to reduce the overall weight of the uh, motor mount. So I tell you what. Let's go ahead and take a quick look at this being printed out. I think I did these on the Wanhao, and then we'll meet back at the bench, and I'll show you a assembled unit to see, um, so you can see how it all came together, because I think this one is pretty cool. So let's over there, and I'll see you at the bench. Now, the, the pretty interesting piece is the way I did this is I actually worked up this assembly that you see here in OpenSCAD and differenced it out of a, a basically a puck or plastic... Um, uh, round thing if you want to call it that cylinder I knew there was a name for it it was it's early in the morning folks so and, and that's the idea so now I have the reuse of this so there may and the reason I share this with you guys on this channel uh, because I'm also you know running the uh, time lapse of them printing out up, up over there is this is really kind of a neat idea I thought to take something where I have half of something which is this and make the other half of it here to make it reusable uh, because these are actually very cost-effective motor assemblies and so uh, I, I, I wanted to reuse these and so this gave me the ability and again I kinda wanted to share the concept now here's the finished unit uh, you can see what it looks like so I've got a 3D printed top on here have the unit uh, bolted down uh, here notice the knockout for the motor so I have complete centering here so anyways, uh, I found this very interesting, and, and this appears to be very useful. Uh, also, if you want to follow me over on my drone channel, again, the link will be below. You can check it out and see how it goes. Um, 
and and because I'm going to actually build a drone based upon these motors and assemblies and that kind of stuff, a very economical one. And that's what I think is kind of cool is this 3D printer is allowing me to take some very uh, economical brush motors and gear assemblies and props and that and build potentially a rather cool drone. Well, we hope it flies, don't we? Because that's sort of the idea here. So anyways, wanted to share that with you guys. Hopefully you found it interesting. If you did, uh, give it a thumbs up. Uh, don't forget uh, Swag Shop up there, subscribe button coming over there. If you have any questions, hit me up below. Happy to answer them. And uh, hey, we'll see you in the next video. Cheers.